there is like um, the president of UFAA, um, Chafurin. He's pretty much a friend of Jack Ma from Alibaba. So they kind of made a friend deal and they've sent millions of masks to Slovenia. But in terms of public procurement, I mean, how it actually functions here, you need the private sector to step up to get the masks and to provide the money to whomever the suppliers in China is. And then when the masks are delivered, because we just went through a scam, we ordered three millions of masks um, from Italy or from the Balkan, and they were never, de never delivered, right? The guy just went missing. The guy driving the truck just went missing. So the private sector here actually lost half a million because they bought the masks and the public, I mean, the country is never going to get the money to them just to cover it up. The masks weren't delivered, so the money's not gonna go there. But what is happening here is that the private sector is actually stepping up, making those deals, opening the diplomatic channels, getting the masks here, and once they're delivered, the country is going to give you the money for those masks. Okay, well, we, I mean, we, need, to, we need to say who the, prob the private sector is, okay? The private sector is people who are in the mask industry before. That's pretty, becoming pretty clear. The, important actors or private sector actors who have experience in this in this particular types of supply and also the people like Amazon or as you said Alibaba they have logistics chains set up and they have warehousing capability which reduces the delivery risk they have the the sanction of no longer doing business anymore with somebody whose trucks disappear so they have chain they have trust chains built in they have trusted suppliers through the supply chain so it's not just the private sector in general it's people who have experience in both the supply and the logistics mm -hmm.